What's up guys, uh, welcome back. This is your boy again, Adam Slink. How you guys doing? Welcome to another crazy video. Uh, let me do my usual introduction. So guys, I try as much as possible to like this video, comment, share it on all social platforms. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Adam Slink. And make sure you subscribe and click the bell notification to get updates. Anytime, any day, I upload and make sure you invite your friends as well. So I think that was my usual introduction before I decided to shorten it. Well, guys, uh, Peter Abbey might be going to jail, and I do not. I, 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 I personally do not think it's possible because of, uh, of course, there's no really corrupt track records towards Peter Obi now. But as Sakari Dokumbo, kind of like want us to believe that Peter Obi is a fraudster, like he's worse, worse than Osh Puppy. He made a video the other time about more than close to nine minute long video castigating Peter Obi and like discriminating us and uh, calling us out for even believing his karma like Peter Obi. Those are not my words. They are a sacred drop in boss word. He's saying Peter Obi says karma. I shouldn't even think about voting for Peter Obi. Then who should we vote for? I think he's supporting at uh, Tinubu. <laughs> Well, the most definitely, guys, you know I'm going to play this video, so let's watch it, guys. In a normal country, Obi will be in prison. In a normal country, Obi, Peter Obi, will be, will be in prison for a very long time to come. This is a man proven, took state money, invested in his family private business. The business failed. Anambra said cannot recover his money again. A thief! That is, that is our quarrel with it. This man is a common criminal, a thief! Who has stolen Anambra people's money. He has not, he admitted that he, he invested Anambra money. He used his position if it is in China, he would have been executed long time ago. That this day, this, this glorifier will open his mouth to talk. Nobody would have noticed Peter B. If you people were not abusing, you call. Uh, yeah, now you go rest in peace, Charlie Solomon. You are already resting in peace. Look at me. You can see me. <laughs> We go see you now. For Tuesday today. Fairly, 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 fairly. Fairly, 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 fairly. Fairly, 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 fairly. On a go fail scatter. Why is it for people like this? Praying. You just rest in this. Hey, your guy is now in our wish. I'm a wish. I will not be the first person to be a wish. American president. Guys, uh, if you ask me what uh, Asakari Dukubo did, uh, what uh, Peter Obi did to Asakari Dukubo, honestly, I do not know. Just maybe he's saying the truth in his own way, or, or Nigerians or many Peter Obi supporters are not listening to him. But the honest truth is that uh, I believe there are a lot of other political parties who offer other candidates, and uh, I also believe that. Uh, they can all focus on that particular candidate as well. But the reason why Peter B is making a buzz is because of this social media. Like, wherever you go, you hear people say that Peter B. Wherever you go, just that time now, just when in 2015, when uh, Buari was coming in, anywhere Buari, anywhere Buari, even Buari was not as popular in people's mouth like Peter Obi now. I don't know about the North. 
I don't know about the norm because according to the interview Atiku Abubakar had uh, yesterday, Atiku Abubakar said about 90% of Northerners are not on social media. 90% of Northerners automatically do not know Peter Obi. That's according to Atiku uh, statistics. So he said he wasn't even expecting a miracle to happen. It's not even a fact. He said he's not even expecting a miracle to happen. That means Peter Obi can't never be Nigeria president. From him, though, so I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I do not know because of the structure. You know, they keep talking about structure, structure, structure. Well, Peter Obi, however, claimed that his structure is 100 million Nigeria living in poverty. Well, guys, let's see what will happen, though. Asakari Dukumbo, well, definitely he will not stop. He will stay maybe the next two or three days or maybe a week. He's still going to come aside to, to say whatever I want to say concerning Peter Obi. And he said Peter Obi was in a country like China. He would have been executed a long time ago for misappropriating uh, Anabra state money. And Anabra, this is it. Peter Obi invested Anabra State money into their private business, hoping to heed a dividend. But because the Nigeria economy and all the rest, the business collapsed. So the money uh, just got, just went from there. That's according to Asakari Dukuba. I have not actually made my findings if that is actually true or not. Let me be completely honest. So I cannot say if it's true or not true. So for those of you who really feel feel the need to research to know if uh, Peter Obi made a really bad business decision with Anabra State money, then you can also find out as well. Well, it's business now. Business is what you invest in. You either get a return or you get a loss. So if the money had hit very, very huge dividend, I think people will start praising and not talking about this. But we're still going to check that out next time. I'm going to do my research as well. So let's move past that. And uh, Peter Abi running mate, Yusuf Dante, decided to make an appearance in his own car. You know, very, very fine, calm, Rema kind of style appearance. Remember then when Rema was trying to gain fame, his appearances were always for his cars, singing and doing all those things. On, on thing, he, he was noticed by the prince. The prince was the one that brought him to Don Jazzy. Rema now is not, uh, now one of the biggest stars in, in, in Nigeria. So I think that's the kind of style Dante is trying to bring up now. So check him out, guys. Also, um, we can do it. History shows that lots of countries go through lots of difficulties before they eventually make it. Well, we don't have to go through more than what we've already seen. It is enough. Um, we need the kind of votes that is uh, very convincing. No runoff. We don't have really the money for, for runoff or court cases. It's a big distraction. We don't need that. We want to hit the ground running from day one. Remember, we need all the killings to stop. All Nigerians to travel in our own country, any part of Nigeria, any time of the day or night. The moment, and then go back to the farmlands. You're already adding 50% or thereabout to the GDP. Go and stay in the hotels, you're adding more. Socialize, you're adding more. Do your commerce and trade, you're adding more. On the part of government, we trap, we, we reduce waste in procurement, collect all our revenue, deploy it correctly. Uh, a new Nigeria is started. And uh, more businesses, what Peter Obi and I do. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> You know, one of all those things I really dream of and that really breaks my heart up to today, I'm not going to lie to you, even when thinking about it, I'm, 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 I'm almost going to like share tears, honestly, I'm not going to play about that, is traveling from one state to another without any fear. You know, accident is okay, 
no accident it's not okay but it's a natural disaster that occurs and of course it's preventable but banditry kidnapping and all the rest is something that it occurs like it's not something it's something that we can prevent like we can we can stop it i remember we travel like you can i you go you see other countries other vloggers in other countries doing a travel vlog going to uh, mountains staying there on their own no disturb no fear the only fear is wildlife but here hey, before you start going anywhere so i see you have to be careful if not they'll be kidnapped all those kind of things man it breaks my heart it doesn't allow us to flourish content creator cannot do their work well people will be afraid to go anywhere farm people don't go to farm again and you say produce what we can eat man choose wisely guys just choose wisely get your pvc and choose wisely then to end this video this one is coming from a uh, dunamis uh general overseer paul Nietzsche, who decided to make his own remark concerning the muslim muslim ticket and the fake bishops recently check him out guys you know there is contest going on in this country right now where some criminals paraded themselves as bishops <laughs> I'm sure you saw them. That is the level to which the criminal leadership of this country have descended into. You see, like beget like. Those who send them are like them. That is impersonation of the highest order, and they should be arrested and tried. That is how Yeshus. Bankrupt of mentality, bankrupt of capacity, bankrupt of any trace of leadership ability. These people who want to rule Nigeria, that is what they carry. But their end has come. Their end has come. They will never see the light of day. They will never smell the palace of authority. Anybody say name and say louder, amen. You want to cheat to lead you want to lie to lead you want to kill to lead and your platform has led for seven to eight years and the only thing the country got was bloodshed killings banditry and you are still pushing yourself forward bankrupt of mentality bankrupt of authority bankrupt of capacity reasoning zero you need to see their communication you can pick nothing out of it it is not under our watch that the wars will rule over the best <laughs> the other truth is that uh, mm, oh god Well, uh, the honest truth is that um, even people for that dunamis, eh, they will see vote for Tinubu. <laughs> majority, if the majority of them, they will still vote for Tinubu. <laughs> but uh, the truth must be told, no matter what, we must be able to open our mouth to say, oh, this is right and this is wrong, no matter what. So I'm really, really happy with the way that uh, the religious body are getting involved with politics. You know, you cannot shy away from it. You are a human being. You live in Nigeria. Mm? You have to get involved. And if you are not involved, uh, somebody else will be involved. So thank you guys for watching. It's your boy, Gary Adam Slink. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Stay blessed. And uh, of course, definitely we'll see you next time.